So yesterday, my headphones, which I've been using for the past two years, went ahead and died. Don't worry about that because I've actually gone ahead and I've already purchased a pair of replacement headphones. And here they are, the PC overhead headphones. Some of the features for these headphones include a boom microphone for chat, and apparently they're lightweight and comfortable, and they're also noise limited to 85 decibels for children. Now I don't actually know if that was an intended feature or they just couldn't get them any louder. So I picked these headphones up for six Australian dollars, which is just over four US dollars. So I'm expecting some really top of the line quality. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm just gonna be testing out these headphones. I just wanna see how they sound, and I wanna see if I can actually make some decent sounding music with them. I mean, for $6, I'm not really expecting much, but who knows, I could be surprised. Probably won't. <laughs> oh yeah, that is some good packaging. It's actually not too bad, I've seen worse. Oh, there we go. That can get out of here for now. And here they are, the PC overhead headphones. I don't actually think there is a brand attached to these headphones. So it looks like they're made by a company called Crest. Never heard of them. Oh, wow, that is... <laughs> It's good! <laughs> oh no! That is a really short cable as well. I don't know if it's actually gonna reach. Oh wow, these look good! <laughs> they are definitely not comfortable, but they are very lightweight. Must be some very cheap plastic. Actually, before I start producing music, I think I'm actually just gonna have a listen to some songs which I'm very familiar with. I just wanna get a rough idea of how everything sounds. I also know that this is gonna be really weird because you guys can just hear the normal music. You can't hear what this sounds like. Maybe I'll edit the audio to make it sound similar to what these headphones sound like. <laughs> oh no, these are terrible. <laughs> I was not expecting it to sound this bad. I mean, they were six dollars, but I still thought it'd be better than this. Everything sounds really weird as well. It's very left side dominant. I can't really hear the right side. So all jokes aside, I know it's definitely possible to actually make music using these headphones. I mean, you can really use anything. The ones I've been using for the past two years only cost me about forty dollars or something like that they were really not that special at all i think the most important thing is just learning how the headphones actually sound and i know it can take a really long time to adjust which is why i just ended up sticking with them then again i don't actually know if i could adjust to these headphones here i think that is asking a bit too much everything is really distorted but then again it's also really hard to hear i've actually got the volume maxed out on them right now and i'm really struggling to hear anything so because these headphones don't play too well with drums or anything bassy I think I'm gonna start off with, maybe we'll go for a piano for now. I don't know if a piano can really sound bad, so it might be a good thing to start off with. Oh, that sounds pretty bad. I'll play around with the tone of the piano soon. I just wanna get some stuff recorded in, so let's do this. It is really hard to hear the metronome. <laughs> Oh, that was a struggle. Even though a launch pad's buttons make barely any noise, I could still hear it over the metronome. That's how quiet these headphones are. Anyway, that is sounding good. Now I'm just gonna record in another layer. Sounds quite nice. Now I might have a mess around with the tone or I might even swap this out completely. I think I might actually put a wet reverb on it. And now I'm just gonna try it out with some different instruments. Why does this sound so distorted? I don't know if it is meant to. Oh wow, that sounds terrible. So next up, I've just brought in this marimba and I'm just gonna record in a little arpeggio with it. Easy. I might also put on a ping pong delay Something like that and I want to EQ it a little bit. This is gonna be hard though. I think that is sounding good It's really hard to tell everything's very distorted though. Okay next up I've just brought in the string sound here It's just a preset and I'm just gonna put on an EQ very hard to tell how I should EQ it I think that is sounding all right. Let's record it in Yeah. 
I'm actually pretty happy with how this is sounding. Now I think it is time to ruin it all by bringing in some drums. Because these headphones really do not like drums, I think I'm just gonna have to put together a very light kit of samples. Because right now if I have a normal sounding kit, everything just gets distorted. I can't really hear anything at all. So yeah, I think I have to stick with some subtle samples. Is this one alright? Maybe we'll just go for a snap. That doesn't seem to destroy the sound. Oh, this one here sounds better. Maybe I'll layer it up. Yeah, that sounds good. Now let's try to find a closed hi-hat. Every hi-hat just sounds like it has a low-pass filter on it. I think I will just stick with this one. It's not too overpowering. Now I think I need a wood block. Maybe just this one here. I think this kit is sounding quite nice on these headphones. Nothing is sounding distorted at all, even when I play all the instruments at the same time. So yeah, let's go ahead and record in a beat. pretty well. So now I think it is time to record in the hi-hat layer. This is so impossible, I have no idea how any of this actually sounds. And then it also sounds like it is coming from one side. Oh, this is hard. So I think next up I'm gonna to have to bring in a bass. This is probably gonna destroy the song for me on these headphones. It's probably just gonna distort the whole thing. I can't really hear anything. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear it. It just has to be really high. But anyway, I'm just gonna give it a shot and try record it even though I can't really hear anything. hear a single thing <laughs> but at least everything's not getting distorted which is a bonus I guess so now I think I've pretty much put in all of the instruments which I can fit I feel like if I add in anything more these headphones are just gonna blend everything together and it's gonna be really hard to hear so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attempt to do all of the finishing touches with only these headphones this is gonna be hard <laughs> so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this section over a few different times and I already know for the intro I'm just gonna have this piano part playing by itself and everything can just kind of build up. So what I might do is I might just put on a low pass filter and that can just build up. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> now for the second section, I'll bring back in this Rhodes and we'll also bring in the marimba as well. I might put some volume automation on the marimba. I feel like there is something going on with this Rhodes. It is sounding terrible on these headphones. I've used this preset a million times, so I can't really tell if anything is wrong with it or not. I think that sounds all right. Now what I might do is I might actually duplicate this a couple of times and I'm just gonna pitch it up an octave and I'm just gonna create some doubles. Oh, what happened there? So I've just done this with the right and I'm just gonna duplicate it, switch this one over to the left and we're just gonna change some of the settings just to make it sound a bit different. Might also offset it just a tiny bit. So that is sounding nice for me. Hopefully it sounds just as good for you. <laughs> so next up, I'm just gonna grab a crash symbol and I'm just gonna reverse it to make it build into this drop section or whatever you wanna call it. Better turn off warp. And we're just gonna pull in this crash as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record this drum track into an audio channel and I'm just going to use this audio track just to help build in the drums slowly. So we'll just put a filter on it. Doesn't really sound like it's changing. <laughs> These headphones don't have a very wide frequency range so everything just sort of sounds the same. So I know what I want to do for this section but since I can't really hear any bass it's sort of making it hard. I think I'm just going to have to guess what it sounds like and go from there. So I kind of just want to have everything drop out 
and just have the sub bass as well as a couple of other elements playing and then just bring it back in eight bars later but yeah it's just gonna be hard to get everything sounding all right i think the only thing that i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna remove these hi-hats maybe i'll also get rid of this wood block as well so if everything is as bassy as i'm expecting it to be i think that should sound quite good otherwise it's just gonna sound completely empty but apart from that i can't really think of anything else that i should do to this beat like i'm actually pretty happy with the way that things are sounding so far so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna go out and buy a better pair of headphones and i'm gonna actually test this beat out and then that way i think i will accurately be able to see how good a job these six dollar headphones do for music production so yeah i'll be back soon to test out this beat ow Ah, those have really hurt my ears. That is not comfortable at all. So it is actually the next day I did manage to go out and pick up some new headphones. These are the Sennheiser HD 440 BT Wireless. What a terrible name. And yes, I know that these headphones are not made for music production, but if you have not noticed, all studio headphones are pretty ugly. That is pretty much the reason why I decided to go with these over some monitoring headphones instead. So because I have not heard the song since yesterday, I'm actually gonna have a listen through again with these headphones here, just to remind myself of how terrible they are. Ah, head is too big for these. House real big, car real big, head real big, everything real big. <laughs> Man, I haven't heard that song in a long time. Anyway, let's try to listen to this beat as quick as possible because I want to get these off because they are not comfortable at all. Can't really hear much at the moment. Oh, there we go. I forgot how bad these headphones were. That sounds so weak. I think it still sounds all right though. I think I managed to do a pretty good job with six solar headphones. Well, I'm not really gonna know until I switch over to these ones, but I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, now I think it is time to listen to the beat on these headphones. This is going to be the first time that I've listened to this beat on something other than the $6 headphones. This should be interesting. Oh, that already sounds a million times better. That is a lot louder than those other headphones. how high the marimba sound was. That is more like a bell. And there's a kick in there? Oh, I couldn't even hear that before. Oh yeah! Damn! I can actually hear the bass! <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah! Go $6 headphones! Oh, that actually sounded a whole lot better than I was expecting it to. I think the only major difference that I can hear is that everything has a whole lot more treble than I was expecting. Like, I could not hear any high frequencies from this kick drum, that's why I chose it. Now that I listen to it on these headphones, it sounds like there's even a hi-hat on top of the kick. And these snaps also have a lot more highs than I could hear. And then of course there are simple things like actually being able to hear the bass. I was not really able to tell if the bass that I recorded in was actually making any sound or not, because the $6 headphones are really not capable of producing any bass at all. And it's just really crazy how much wider this beat sounds. Everything on these $6 headphones just sounds compressed and pushed off to the side. Overall, I'm actually pretty impressed of how good a job I was able to do with such terrible headphones. So after all of that, I think I'm pretty confident in saying that yes, you can use $6 headphones for music production. However, I would not recommend it. I think I would have a better experience producing music with only my laptop speakers. I'm pretty sure that my laptop speakers would sound better than these headphones. And then there's the fact that these are the most uncomfortable thing that I've ever worn. But yeah, there we go, $6 headphones. Who would have guessed that they sound like absolute garbage? Actually, just before I go, there is one feature which I forgot to try out and that is the microphone. <laughs> oh, no. oh, that sounds terrible. Why is it so distorted? Oh, I don't think that these headphones could get any worse than they already are. 
That is terrible. Anyway, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see all of you in the next couple of days for my next video. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.